In the last video, we started turning on ragdoll physics in the middle of an animation. In this one, I want to make the physics look a little smoother. And if I go into one of the rigid body parts, the hips, for example, we have some options here at the rigid body. And we want to start interpolating between frames. You can read about it in the official Unity manual. This is mainly for character physics. So you definitely want to turn on interpolate. I'm not using extrapolate because this is mainly for fast moving objects. And just like the word, it's about predicting the path of a projectile based on, based on its current course. But right now I just want to smooth out the result of the physics for our character. Again, you can read about extrapolate in the official Unity manual. For collision detection, there's many options. By default, it's discrete. I would highly suggest that you read the Unity manual about these different options. I'm not going to go through all of them, but discrete is the one that would give you the fastest performance, but probably the worst results. And then there's continuous dynamic, which would probably be the worst in terms of performance, but would be give you a little more detailed results with fast moving objects. This would probably stop it from going through a wall or something. I would suggest that you try them all and see what you like. Discrete is the only one that you probably shouldn't use. This is going to give you funny results. For now, I'm going to go with continuous. Now we would have to do the same thing for every single ragdoll body part. I'm going to go into character control. And we have a function where we're setting up the ragdoll body parts. Here it is. So for each of the body part, we want to get the attached rigid body and we want to change the interpolation option. And I'm going to pick interpolate and same thing with collision detection mode. I'm going to pick continuous and save. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into the root, the character control, and click on set up ragdoll parts. Now all of the parts should have these same options. Okay. I'm going to click apply. And same thing with the enemy. Make sure that they have the right options and click apply for the enemy as well. Now we just got to try it out. I'm going to click play and attack the enemy again. I think the bounce is a little more subtle. Okay, it's a small difference, but I like it a lot better. I'm also going to test it against a wall. See how that works out. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's much better than having the default settings. I'm also going to try attacking the enemy up here. See how that works. Okay. I'm also going to try changing the number the timing for the ragdoll scriptable object. Let me try 0.275 and click play again. I think I like that a lot better. So play around with the numbers, the settings, and see what you like. That'll be for today. Thanks for watching.